Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. Uh, this is the news uh, from the uh, United States. The US Senate had uh, voted and passed the Ukraine Democracy Defense Land Lease Act of 2022. So this is a, this is a World War II uh, era program, uh, the Land Lease Program, which allows America to send weapons to Britain and other allies during World War II. And uh, so they basically able to send weapons freely and resources and aids uh, freely to the allies uh, in war and then uh, these allies would then pay them back after the war so this uh, soviet union is also one of them that uh, benefited from the land lease, land lease program during world war ii and russia actually uh, paid off all the debt uh, until maybe i think 20 30 years ago uh, under, i think it's under putin that they actually paid off everything so they, they actually paid for a very very long time so now this uh ukraine democracy defense land lease act has uh, now give uh, joe biden the president the authority to actually enter agree enter agreements with ukraine without further need for congress approval so this will actually speed up uh, any requirements and requests from ukraine for any military aids or any resources fuel food it can be anything and uh however this comes right at the moment when the q1 2022 gdp number uh shocked the world that the united states actually uh shrink the economy shrink by 1.4 percent so this comes after the congress have already approved 13.6 uh, billion dollars in war spending so after already approving so much money they continue to pass this land lease act that allows them to even give more money and more resources to fight the ukraine war and then uh, gdp is not doing well so this triggers the need for a csi of united states so if if i take if we take a look uh you can verify that this is actually uh true you see unit us economy unexpectedly shrink 1.4 percent in the first quarter of 2022 this is by fox news and of course uh, the us senate votes to resurrect world war ii era policy to help ukraine amidst russian invasion so so now let's take a look at uh, the situation in the United States and see whether uh, this is something we need to be concerned about. Uh, is the United States going to uh, sustain? So a uh, quick overview. Joe Biden is the president. If you still do not know yet, uh, it's not Donald Trump. Uh, the population is at 331.8 million people. And um, fatality rate, rate is at uh, 1.641, uh, which is actually below uh, replacement but uh united states have one of the highest uh, immigration uh, numbers so maybe that will work out somehow so life expectancy is actually at 77.3 which is uh, not very high so um if you look at uh okay france we don't have france one let's take a look at the singapore one so singapore is at 83.9 but in united states with one of the world's best uh medical technologies and systems or seems to have much lower life expectancy i believe this is because maybe healthcare is a bit too expensive and uh, maybe the healthcare is not reaching everyone so maybe that's why you know resulting in a much lower life expectancy however gdp is world number one at 22.996 trillion dollars the average income of the united states uh citizens are also you know crazy high at uh, five thousand three hundred seventy eight dollars a month so when you compare it to someone in ukraine for example um let's take a look at ukraine's number uh it's only at 268 dollars a month so um 5300 to 268 uh this is a huge uh, huge income gap uh, between ukrainians and americans so any any city is white blacks hispanic and asian this is exclusive to united states uh, no other country actually uh brands their any cities in this way uh this uniquely american especially when you talk about asian uh just for info if you do not know um uh, this is asia well, asia is this big and this is usa so um so to say oh you are asian actually the 
that includes Arabs, Indian, Chinese, no, Malays, Thai. So um, it's not exactly a very accurate way of uh, branding uh, any city anyway. So uh, the main language is actually English and Spanish. Uh, of course, there's a lot of other language being spoken in the United States, but this is the two main one. And the religion is uh, mainly Protestantism or the Protestant church. Uh, Protestant uh, Christianity as uh, and Catholicism, uh, slightly, uh, maybe half of it, and uh, uh, and many many other smaller religions. Uh, that is uh too small to mention. So, security wise, uh, United States is actually uh for the first time in a long time, uh, really in a good place. There's no terrorist attack, uh, and there's no overseas military campaign. Uh, so no major ones, of course. The United States always have some military uh, stuff happening overseas, but in terms of a major campaign like Syria or Afghanistan or Iraq, you know, all these are over. So it's a 20.20. So political wise, uh, it's also in a rather good place because uh, the House and the House and the Senate both is under the Democrats at this, at this moment. So there is actually no political deadlocks. Uh, bills get passed easily uh, because Joe Biden is also a Democrat. So but with three the three uh faction of the of the government being all democrat uh there is actually a no to political deadlock however uh the election is disputed uh by donald trump and his uh supporters and that represents almost 50 percent of the voters so the this this, this uh, disputed election continues to become be a issue in united states and this also contributed to a lot of uh, censorship uh, by big tech and and uh, it's really you know you can't really talk much about this so that's a minus five in the more political uh society wise uh maybe because it's not you no know, donald trump uh, being the president and so there's there isn't really uh, much of a mass protest and there's and as such there's actually no mass rioting crime rate uh for united states is actually uh high but it's not high enough for this to light up uh the crime rate index is actually at 47.81 uh to for this to light up is actually 50 so it's actually not very far away uh which means that the crime rate is uh, rather high but not high enough for this to light up so united states ranks at uh, 56 um, highest crime country in the world so as such uh in in terms of society wise uh it's actually very peaceful the society seems to be very peaceful economic economics wise um which is where the this headline is about the gtp shrinking causing this uh minus five to light up so that's why economics drop uh to 15.20 unemployment is actually rather low at 3.6 percent in march 2022 so that's why uh unemployment did not light up there is actually no fuel crisis uh, at this moment. Uh, there is a fuel crisis uh, last year. <clears throat> then uh, it's currently it's not. Uh, United States also is a food producer. So uh, there's a lot of warning about food crisis coming. Uh, in fact, in, uh, in Singapore's, uh, Singapore's uh, I think I believe the Monetary Authority of Singapore actually warned that the world is going to be having some food issues in half a year's time. So it's something to look out for uh but united states is actually a food producer so i believe they should be okay i guess and as such there's also currently also no energy crisis in united states so economically uh united states united states is actually in a decent place at 15.20 whether the low gdp growth will actually uh spill over into unemployment i think um we are not we are not so sure so let's see how it, this goes then we come to the financial part of the uh, United States, which is actually the weak part of uh, USA. So because uh, of the consistently uh, high national debt, currently the national debt uh, for United States is it's at uh, $30.4 trillion. That's actually 132% of the GDP. So that's actually tremendously high. Uh, it's not yet rich unsustainable, uh, but uh, I'm sure the the federal gov government is doing their best to reach there. Um, uh, United States, in terms of gold reserve, the U.S. has actually one of the they actually they actually is the highest uh gold have the highest gold reserve in the world. 
uh, of 8,133 metric tons of gold. And that uh, contributes, that actually, you know, when you calculate down based on the population of, which is uh, actually 24.32 metric ton per million people. So that's actually a lot of uh, financial security uh, in that sense, among the highest in the world. And uh, so, however, inflation is high. Uh, in the latest number, uh, which is from March 2022, the inflation rate is at 8.5% year on year. So currently, United States is having a high inflation. So at 8.5%, 8, 8 that's indeed uh, high. Uh, so that's why there's a minus 5 for USA. And uh, the unique situation about U US is that uh, it, the US dollar is actually uh, the global reserve currency. So as a result, the United States don't seem to care about uh, keeping a strong foreign exchange reserve. They only keep US dollars. In fact, they don't keep US dollars, they just print US dollar. So the foreign reserve uh, situation uh, is really bad. Uh, USA only have a 40.3 billion US dollar of foreign reserve. Uh, but but US, United States actually imports a $317 billion worth of import uh, every month. And uh, for a decently secure um, foreign reserve currency situation, you would actually want, you know, three times of that, three, time, three months of import value, which actually should be a $953.4 billion of foreign exchange reserve. However, because of the, you know, because everybody just want US dollar, so uh, United States do not seem to care. But this will light up uh, because this represents a threat. So in any situation where the US dollar suddenly stop uh, being uh, a major, uh, being the worst global uh, reserve currency, then uh, this will represent a massive uh, issue because the lack of foreign reserve will mean that import will just suddenly suddenly grind to a stop. And with high inflation rate, uh, means the falling value of the US dollar as well. And with the high national debt, uh, financially, uh, USA actually get a zero. So this is not good. This is actually a not very good situation for U USA. However, when you add up all the points, uh, it's only at 70, 70 a point hundred. So it's not that bad. Uh, the status uh, by Deep Defense Politics Asia is lead, uh, will brand USA as of concern, a country of concern. But I believe uh, USA is mostly always in the yellow zone, this country of concern uh, situation, because without high, without the high inflation and negative GDP growth, uh, they were actually in overseas military campaign, or sometimes they have political deadlocks, sometimes they have mass protests or rioting. So, uh, U USA always seems to be in this yellow zone of this of concern. Uh, rarely will USA actually go into at risk. So, but USA being USA, the whole world looks up to United States and you know look to U United States for guidance in terms of how economy will go, the world markets will be heading, and uh, USA will forever be a country of concern for everyone around the world. So this is the. Uh, update uh, for for United States in terms of the land lease as well as the low GDP uh, the negative GDP for the Q1 of 2022 and this and the, this number is now listed onto the uh, CSI map so you can actually find this map at, at uh, defensepoliticsasia.com and you'll be able to see you know all the other numbers you can actually compare like Bulgaria, France, and uh, Poland actually have better scores than United States. So, anyway, this is the quick update uh, for United States uh, land lease and the uh, shrinking of the GDP. And I will see you uh, in the next update. Press the like button.